Welcome to the Boxing Gossip Channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, before we get into this video, a little bit of housekeeping. First and foremost, the lighting quality in this video is particularly bad. Uh, my apologies for that. It's been a long time coming. Um, I don't like to over promise and under deliver, but new camera, new backdrop should be up and running um, within the next fortnight or so. So bear with us and uh, quality in terms of the uh, production side of things will hopefully marginally increase. You know, we're never going to be um, uh, the World Boxing Super Series on this channel, um, but maybe we'll take a little bit of a step forward from where we're currently at in terms of production. Um, I want to start by giving a major shout out uh, to the new channel sponsor, which is Fine Web Design. And you can find them um, by searching them online, finewebdesign.online. Um, for ease, I've included uh, a link to their website in the description box um, below, which will be uploaded to all Boxing Gossip video uploads um, for the forthcoming future. Um, as the name suggests, web design company, if anyone's got any needs for any services, please do check them out. Uh, many thanks to them for the support and its support from the likes of them and others which will hopefully continue to grow the channel and mean future improvements um, will be uh, visible to all. Anyway, in this particular video we are going to be discussing the news um, that Lenroy Thomas will be defending his Commonwealth title against Joe Joyce uh, in Joyce's fourth professional fight. Let me start by saying my initial reaction to hearing this news, and I don't believe I'm the only one, is what about David Allen? You know, I've seen uh, on social media, Dave Allen is taking an undercard fight in a small hall, so I believe it's in Warsaw. Uh, so, you know, David Allen seems to be dropping down a level. Maybe after the two fights with Lenroy Thomas, he wants to, you know, get a few wins under his belt, get a little bit of momentum that way. And I guess that's understandable. He's had a, a bit of a tough time. Uh, but it appears that he's dropped off the immediate Sky Sports rotor that he was on. And with talk of that third fight against Lenroy Thomas seems to have dissipated in the immediate future. Uh, especially with Lenroy Thomas fighting Joe Joyce. Now from a Joe Joyce perspective, we've got to say um, that this is ambitious matchmaking. You know, this is Joe Joyce's fourth professional fight. And let's be honest, the second and third fights were barely even fights. You know, they were just such easy knockover jobs for Joe Joyce um, that there wasn't too much learning experience. Having said that, his first fight, his debut against Ian Lewison, was an extremely ambitious debut. Um, and, you know, Lenroy Thomas, maybe he's a level above Ian Lewison, um, but he's not that many levels above. Uh, you know, they're, they're in and around the same territory. Joe Joyce obviously being ambitiously matched. Um, there won't be too many four-fight novices who've taken on Ian Lewis and, and Lenroy Thomas. Having said that, Joyce is no youngster. They're clearly not looking to hang around with him. They're clearly not going to look to get him to 20, 30 and 0 before he fights for a British title. And who can blame them? You know, that Olympic amateur pedigree, that World Boxing Series uh, experience, you know, his aides... They just don't want to mess around. And, you know, I've got I've got respect for that. So, uh, Joe Joyce versus Lenroy Thomas. And we've got to say that in all likelihood, this is going to be an improved Lenroy Thomas from what we've seen before. You know, long-time viewers will know I speculated about this uh, when Lenroy was taking on Dave Allen in the rematch. The kind of the rematch that never was, with the fight being called off in the first round due to a cut. Um, but Lenroy Thomas came into that in excellent physical condition. And it looks like he has retained the services of Kenny Porter as a full-time trainer. Uh, Kenny Porter, you know, I believe was absolutely instrumental in Lenroy Thomas's success in the first fight against David Allen. Just to recap very briefly, uh, Lenroy Thomas wasn't training with Kenny Porter due to the fact his trainer was unable to attend the fight. Uh, Kenny Porter was a late notice substitute. And Kenny sort of bullied and cajoled Lenroy Thomas into being a 12-round fighter in that fight and dragged him over the line. My belief, looking at Lenroy Thomas, is he's a guy with real good boxing skills. A real good jab, decent speed for a big guy, good combinations, good timing, good ability to counterpunch. You know, real solid technical pedigree. Where I believe he's lacking is the heart of a champion. 
He looks like a guy whose will can be broken. You know, I've looked at one or two Lenroy Thomas defeats in the past. Um, the Andre Fedosov fight springs to mind. There's one other one that I can't instantly recall, but one other notable one where, you know, Lenroy has kind of... It, it, I won't use the word quit, but it looks like the fight has come to an end sooner than perhaps it absolutely needed to. You know, he got by that David Allen one fight by a whisker uh, when it was clear that he was the better man technically. Um, you know, but David Allen, uh, you know, forced the pace. He was high up, but he kept pushing forward. And Allen was able to make it a tight fight through work rate alone, basically. Uh, but Lenroy Thomas, make no mistake, is a gifted fighter, a gifted technician. And, you know, with the new improved physical condition he's in, uh, with the new training setup he's got, we should expect Lenroy Thomas to be a good bit better than we saw in that David Allen one fight. Uh... Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, as he's known, uh, again, like David Allen, a guy with output, a guy with stamina, a guy who, whilst he's never gone the distance, is deemed to be a guy who's only going to improve over the longer distance fights, be it 10 rounds, 12 rounds, etc. Um, Joyce appears to be slightly more heavy-handed than David Allen. Uh, three fights, three knockouts, knocking out a guy like Ian Lewison, or stopping a guy like Ian Lewison, I should say. Um... And, you know, his subsequent two knockouts, although they've been against knockover jobs, have been one-punch KOs, for want of a better term. Um, my concerns about Joe Joyce, whilst he is a technician, he has got a good jab, he has got good punch variety. My concerns with Joe Joyce is speed. Uh, I've been and seen this guy fight live and in the flesh. I've seen him fight on TV. He is slow. Um, he's slow moving around the ring. I believe his hand speed is slow. And funnily enough, I believe Lenroy Thomas should have a... Uh, a real, real, real advantage in the fight over speed. And don't be surprised whatsoever if in this fight um, you see Lenroy Thomas um, countering Joyce and potentially catching Joyce with one or two unexpected shots and you're exposing some flaws in Joyce. I could see Joyce, uh, you know, throwing some big punches, Lenroy reading them and countering very, very nicely. Um... So, you know, don't be surprised if that's a theme. But my abiding thought on this fight is that Joe Joyce uh, will prove too much for Lenroy Thomas. I believe Joe Joyce um, is vastly superior to a David Allen offensively, superior to David Allen uh, technically. And I believe that whereas in the Allen fight, Allen was able to close down the reins, but then kind of stifled his work uh, and smothered too much of his work, I believe... That in this fight, um, you know, Alan, uh, uh, Joe Joyce will be able to get cleaner, crisper, more damaging work off in that middle to inside range. I also believe he will utilise the jab from distance with a lot more effectiveness than David Allen uh, was able to muster in their fights. And I think he will have too much energy, too much precision, uh, and probably too much power for Lenroy Thomas. You know, Lenroy Thomas, for me... Uh, I do question his uh, the mental side of his game. And I think with Joyce being the home fighter, remember this will be on a matchroom bill. It will be the undercard of Hay Bellew. There will be a huge capacity crowd there. Uh, and, uh, you know, Joe Joyce is the, the London fighter. Joe Joyce is... And to be fair, David Allen was the local fighter when they fought previously. But, but you came up to my point. Joe Joyce, for me, uh, will be pouring it on. Clearly, he's heavy-handed to an extent and I think after a spirited first three or four rounds uh, Lenroy Thomas will realise that he's got seven or eight to go with a guy who isn't tiring a guy who's throwing a lot of punches and I think uh, middle rounds the fight will come to a close in favour of Joe Joyce probably not a one punch KO um, but probably with Lenroy failing to answer a count you know that that would be my early thought suspicion um it's a good fight, and being a Commonwealth title holder at 4-0 and would be very, very impressive for Joyce. You know, you kind of think, with some of the weaknesses Joe Joyce may have around stamina, sorry, around speed, and around uh, just that sort of agility and snap to his work, you would kind of think with those weaknesses, uh, a guy like Lenroy Thomas could be a real threat to someone like, uh, you know, Joe Joyce. But I just think Lenroy Thomas is a bit of an Achilles heel, and I believe... That Achilles heel of uh, finding ways out of fights um, and, you know, not really enjoying it when the going gets tough will be too big a problem against a guy like 
you know, Joe Joyce, you know, Joyce, he's got that jab, he's got that inside work, um, he's got the size, he's got a bit more power, I just think he's going to be too formidable a test, uh, yeah, if Lenroy really has added an extra 20, 30% by losing that weight and by working with Kenny Porter, you know, you never know, you never know, but uh, I'm inclined to think that Joe Joyce will prove too much for Lenroy Thomas in what is an ambitious fight for the fourth time out, and I'm looking forward to this one. Let me know your thoughts, let me know if you think Lenroy could spring the upset, let me know if you agree with my sentiments, leave your comments in the section below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please hit the thumbs up, please subscribe, let me just give you a quick line on what you can expect for the rest of... Actually, no. Hold that thought. Um, thanks for tuning in. See you later.